Here is a timeline of the events that unfolded between Sam Altman, OpenAI, and the CEO of Microsoft in the past week. It was like a soap opera. On Friday, November 17, 2023, the board of directors of OpenAI, a non-profit research company focused on developing safe and beneficial artificial intelligence, announced that Sam Altman will step down as CEO. On Saturday, it was revealed that Altman's firing was due to a breakdown in communication between Sam and the board. And then Altman's longtime business partner and OpenAI president Greg Brockman also announced his resignation. Kosla Ventures, an early investor in OpenAI, expressed support for Altman and stated that it will continue to back him in whatever he does next. On Sunday, some OpenAI employees reportedly contemplated quitting if Altman is not restored as CEO by the end of the weekend. Altman and Brockman reportedly meet with Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella to discuss a possible return to OpenAI. Altman also reportedly met with the OpenAI board to discuss his potential reinstatement. On Monday, November 20, the CEO of Twitch, Emmett Shear, was appointed as interim CEO of OpenAI. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella announced that the company has hired Altman, Brockman, and several other OpenAI employees to lead a new advanced AI research team. On Tuesday, more than 100 OpenAI employees resigned in protest of Altman's firing and the appointment of Scheer as interim CEO. The OpenAI board reportedly reached out to Altman in an attempt to work out a return to the company. On Wednesday the 22nd, it is reported that Altman and Brockman have agreed to return to OpenAI, but only if the current board resigns. By Friday November 23, 2023, Altman and Brockman officially returned to OpenAI as CEO and President, respectively and the OpenAI board announced its resignation. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella played a key role in the events that unfolded between Sam Altman and OpenAI. He also reportedly played a role in convincing the OpenAI board to resign and for Sam Altman's reinstatement. Why? Nadella's involvement in the situation is due to Microsoft's investment in artificial intelligence. According to a report by Product Mint, Microsoft currently owns 49% of OpenAI while existing shareholders own another 49% and the OpenAI nonprofit foundation owns the remaining 2%. OpenAI is the leading AI research company in the world, and Microsoft is eager to tap into its expertise. The reinstatement of Altman is expected to bring new clarity around mission and purpose to OpenAI. Microsoft is expected to benefit from the reformed OpenAI government structure, which will likely be more friendly toward Microsoft and offer it predictability and stability from its key partner in the generative AI race. AI is being baked into everything Microsoft is doing, including Microsoft's intelligent cloud segment. Microsoft's executives predict that the company could pick up $10 billion or more in annual artificial intelligence revenue from developers using its Azure Cloud or OpenAI's models. Microsoft's intelligent cloud segment is the largest source of profit, as well as the fastest growing. In fiscal year 2023, the intelligent cloud segment generated $68.1 billion in revenue, representing 37% of Microsoft's total revenue. This segment includes Azure, Microsoft's cloud computing platform, as well as Microsoft 365, a suite of productivity and collaboration tools. Here is a breakdown of Microsoft's revenue by segment for fiscal year 2023. Intelligent Cloud, $68.1 billion, 37%. Productivity and Business Processes, $50.3 billion, 27%. More Personal Computing, $47.4 billion, 26%. Gaming, $16.2 billion, 9%. Here are some of the reasons why the Intelligent Cloud segment is so profitable for Microsoft. High Margins, Cloud Computing is a high margin business, with Microsoft's Azure platform having an operating margin of over 70%. Recurring revenue. Cloud computing is a subscription-based business, which means that Microsoft generates recurring revenue from its cloud customers. This provides Microsoft with a predictable and stable source of income. Large and growing market. The cloud computing market is large and growing rapidly, with predictions that the market will pass $400 billion in 2024. This gives Microsoft a large and growing opportunity to increase its revenue from cloud computing. Overall, the intelligent cloud segment is a key driver of Microsoft's profitability and growth. The segment is expected to continue to be a major source of revenue for Microsoft in the years to come. As of Q3 2023, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft collectively hold a 66% share of the worldwide cloud market. This means that they are responsible for providing the infrastructure and services that support a significant portion of the world's internet traffic.
Here is a breakdown of the market share for the top three cloud providers. Amazon Web Services, AWS, 33%. Microsoft Azure, 22%. Google Cloud Platform, GCP, 11%. These three companies have been consistently leading the cloud market for several years, and they are expected to continue to do so in the future. This is due to a number of factors, including their strong financial positions, and their large and loyal customer bases. Microsoft currently has over $160 billion in cash and equivalents. Should you buy Microsoft stock? You should always consult a financial advisor but let's look at the recent past. Microsoft stock price has recovered from the lows of 2020 for several reasons, including 1. Strong cloud computing business. Microsoft's Azure cloud computing platform has been a major growth driver for the company in recent years. Azure is one of the leading cloud platforms in the world, and it is growing rapidly as businesses of all sizes move their computing workloads to the cloud. 2. Growth of artificial intelligence, AI. Microsoft is a leader in AI, and the company is investing heavily in this area. Microsoft's AI products and services are being used by businesses of all sizes to improve efficiency, productivity, and customer satisfaction. 3. Strong gaming business. Microsoft's Xbox gaming business is another major growth driver for the company. The Xbox Series 10 S consoles are the most powerful gaming consoles on the market, and they have been very successful. Microsoft is also investing heavily in game development, and the company is releasing a number of popular new games each year. 4. The pandemic accelerated the adoption of cloud computing and other digital technologies, which benefited Microsoft. As businesses were forced to shift to remote work, they relied on cloud computing platforms like Azure to stay operational. Microsoft also benefited from increased demand for its productivity software, such as Microsoft Teams. 5. Strong Leadership Microsoft has a strong leadership team that has been instrumental in the company's success. Satya Nadella, who became CEO of Microsoft in 2014, has transformed the company into a more cloud-focused and agile organization. This is the same reason why Microsoft should be able to weather any economic downturn in the near future and with the replacement of the board at OpenAI recently by one that is more amenable to profit-making, OpenAI and its own AI should turbocharge Microsoft's future growth. The stock price of Microsoft ended the day of Friday, November 24 at $377.43. It's up over the past day, week, month, and year. As well, it is part of the Magnificent 7 mega cap stocks, which also includes Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, Tesla, and Nvidia. These seven stocks are responsible for 76% of the S&P 500's 2023 gain of nearly 20%. What do the analysts say? Yun Kim of Loop Capital Markets rates Microsoft a buy. Microsoft's promising outlook. Azure growth stability and potential accelerated EPS growth with a target of $425. Derek Wood of TD Cowan rates Microsoft a buy, outperforming expectations, a comprehensive analysis of Microsoft's robust growth and buy rating, with a target of $390. Stephen Burzi of HSBC rates it a buy. Microsoft upgraded to buy from hold at HSBC, with a target of $413. Cash Rongan of Goldman Sachs rates it a buy. Microsoft's promising outlook. Azure growth stability and potential accelerated EPS growth with a target of $450. Stuart K. Matern of Evercore Partners rates it a strong buy with a target of $450. We believe Microsoft is well positioned to benefit from the ongoing shift to cloud computing and the increasing adoption of artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. H. Abernethy of Rosenblatt Securities rates it a strong buy with a target of $400. Microsoft is a leader in the cloud computing space and has a strong competitive position in the market. As for AI and cloud computing, Microsoft is going all in. Recently, on October 11th of this year, TechCrunch reports that Microsoft is launching a new AI-powered tool called Defender for Endpoint that will help businesses detect and mitigate cybersecurity threats. On November 7, 2023, TechCrunch states that Microsoft has announced new Azure cloud services designed to help retail businesses improve their operations and customer experiences. On November 15, ZDNet headlines that Microsoft Teams have rolled out new features to enhance communication and collaboration for hybrid work environments. And even more recently, on November 21, 2023, VentureBeat reports that Microsoft partners with OpenAI to expand AI research and development. 
And on November 23, 2023 Tech Radar states that Microsoft's AI-powered Bing search engine became available in more countries, bringing enhanced search capabilities to a wider audience. So, what should you do?